Hello everyone, this is Waldorf. This is Staten. And we've got Battle Report 276. 276. And I'm not repeating myself, I am repeating myself, but it's, <laughs> it's intentional. The Kingdom of uh, Equitain versus the Empire of Sandstorm. I think you forgot to update the slide. Well, what was nice is I could use the same slide three times in this three tournament. Three out of five, that's good. So you got three. All I have to do is change two numbers on three each Three human slide. armies, one almost human. That's good. Yeah, it's uh, pretty amazing. So this is g game five at yeah. Grail Quest. You oh. are two and two, and you're one point above 500. I believe, yes, you are correct. Okay. Um, so this is for, this is to make or break your tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out that there are four Equitane armies at this tournament. I managed to get three of them. Equitane armies? I'm sorry, Sandstall <laughs> there armies. There are three Equitane armies. Okay. Anyway. So very human centered event. Game five. Um <laughs> a lot of racist. This army is an interesting army. Okay. So let's move interesting on. Interesting with a small eye or a big eye? <laughs> yeah. uh, kind of a middle. Okay. Because it's you know anyway. I actually liked it a lot. Okay. I thought it was a it's a unique take on an army. Anyway. Okay. Um same army list as before. All right. Pause, read it if you want. So here we go. So a marshal with imperial prince on a gr oh. general on a great griffin. Great griffin on a shield with a potion of swiftness. Uh huh. A wizard of co an adept of cosmo. Adept. Sorry, okay. not a apprentice of cosmology. An apprentice, not an adept. Okay. Apprentice of cosmology on a great griffin. Okay. Um, an adept of of pyromancy on a great griffin. Okay. And a apprentice of alchemy on a great griffin. Okay. And a master of divination on a great griffin. A ma oh my god, how many freaking magic spells is that? One, two, three, four, and eight. Okay, three, three, four, so far. Eight. Eight, eight wow. spells. Okay. Um, plus the arcane engine, which gives yes, him another bound spell. Okay, so wow, okay. So, but no bounce, no other, you know, the so, prelates. So no BSB. But five great griffins but five great griffins okay so a uh, wizard on a great griffin is a is 210 points yeah yeah that's pretty awesome there's actually a lot of well you've seen it with your orcs and goblins there's a lot of wizards on correct on things wizards like, on chariots but a wizard yeah. on a great griffin yeah medium-sized monsters there's anyway, some good deals out there it's a really good deal mm -hmm. anyway so he took advantage of. It. He's got five great okay. griffins. All right, why not? Okay. Um, he does not have a BSB. I was not I'm kind of surprised you took the master one, but okay. I think he was thinking the divination. Well, a couple things. Divination can somewhat make up for not having a BSB because yes. the default you know, the yeah. attribute and, is. And the, you have your orders and you know. thing. You've got orders. Yeah. Um, anyway, and what's really interesting if those. Um, one, two, three, four wizards hang out together. You're adding nine to the divination casting, casting range, range. Yeah, if they're near each other. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so thirty-five heavy infantry with full command legion standard. Okay. Uh, Twenty heavy infantry. I'm sorry, what do they have? Hand weapon shield. Okay. If the, that's standard. The great yeah. weapon is a right. I'm just curious. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Twenty heavy infantry with a how with halberds, okay. full command and rending banner. Okay. 12 state militia and 10 state militia. Okay. Five electoral cav. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of hanging out there with it's the standard bearer. It's a scoring unit. Yeah. Four knights of the sun griffin, halberds, musician, okay. and banner of speed. Oh, halberds, okay. Uh, the arcane engine with foresight, which gives you the lightning reflexes. Yep. A cannon, a volley gun, a mortar, and five riders with braces of pistols. So... Hmm. It's an interesting list. The Griffin things, if they swarm on somebody, it could be a bad day. Individually, they're not much, but if they swarm on something, yeah, it them. could be yeah, a bad yeah, day. Yeah, use them as groups. Okay. Um, anyway. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This is the opponent that I played sometime last year. That this is the was, opponent you wish you had your bolt throwers for? I would love to have had my <laughs> Some scorpions. scorpions. But this is also the opponent that I played last year who did the unit. First one I see do the unit of uh, Sabretooths. Okay. Same guy. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Anyway. I like that unit. <laughs> um, so here's the board. I did not like this map at all for taking pictures. Because mm -hmm. um, it's 
really just weird. Um, it's hold the center. Um, with the GW tiles. It's the GW tiles. They're painted bright, and it's just kind of... Yeah, it's some kind of like... Anyway. Yeah. This is the chaotic ones, I guess. So, okay. but up top, it's got a field, impassable mm -hmm. wall, and then a hill, uh -huh. another forest. For another forest? Another or wall. A forest. A forest. <laughs> yeah. Wall over here on the right, hill uh -huh. over on the right. Okay. Ruin here in my deployment, mm -hmm. and a. Uh, is that a hill behind you, or feature. is that just the color of the terrain? That's just this is all the color of the terrain. Okay. The only hill is over here on the okay. far right. And the one in the middle. It's a different and color. The one in the middle of the board. <laughs> yeah, it's. This is my terrain, actually. The hill on as the right. As you recognize it, it is because it's the one I made for the snowboard. Oh, for the snowboard. Okay. And yeah. out of all, I brought a box of fifty hills. They pull the snowboard, snow hill out of it <laughs> and deploy it on here. And there's still a box. Actually, of... I think the snow one looks better than the green one. Okay, yeah, whatever. On this terrain. <laughs> on this terrain? Yeah. yeah. Cause the it it kind of matches the <laughs> yeah, terrain. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't show up well. Anyway. Yeah, okay. So you got that. Um, and there, his, you can see his deployment up top. He's got a uh, wizard over on the top left. Um, this is cosmology. His big guy on the dragon is his divination here in the back. Um, it's a kind of a dragon model. Oh, it is? Okay. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a small dragon. Okay, model. I was trying to figure out what it was using for his, I was um, curious what it was going to use for all his griffins. A cart, another yeah. griffin here. This is his metal mage. Uh-huh. Uh, he's using the wolves as his guys. That's fine. Um, the general <laughs> on this, the real great griffin. On oh, that little base. <laughs> uh, yes. It's this That's huge funny. great griffin on the little yeah, base. Yeah. And over here, this is his other griffin. Okay. Um, turned sideways. Turned sideways with yeah. a... That's his fire mage. Okay. Okay. A unit of uh, militia, um, riders, and what do we got? Cannon back here on the yeah. back. I, have to break I, I just don't know what GW was thinking when they redid the Griffin of that huge freaking breast meat model. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> it's just so huge. Either. It is so, <laughs> it should have so stats like a dragon. Yep. <laughs> you know? um, militia with, interestingly enough, militia with the knights behind them. Uh-huh. Um, and then a warp in the whatever this is the uh, volley gun. Okay. And the over on the far right is the mortar. Okay. So really, okay. Yeah. So he's going to deploy, and I'm going to deploy second. Um, I'm keeping my my idea here was the um, brigands. Everything set up outside. I'm know. sorry. So he he won. And he dropped their whole army. He's going to drop most. I think we might have traded maybe once or twice, and then he dropped everything. Okay. Um, the my brigands over here. The idea here is they're going to shoot at the that want to shoot at the um, hell blaster, the volley gun. Uh, I need sixes to wound it, but mm -hmm. you know he can't save it. And it's, I would rather shoot it with arrows than fight it and get close to it. Right, I like it to go away. I don't mm -hmm. like that. Um, but currently everything's out of range of it. Yeah. Um. So anyway, so moving on. And of course, there's the center spot uh, that we're playing hold the center. Mm -hmm. So this is. Did we skip the whole first turn? No. He's moved, and then I've moved apparently, because um, these my brigands have moved back, mm -hmm. and I've moved up. I'm just kind of sitting where I am, drawing him in. Okay. You can see he's come down to. <laughs> He's been forced to actually move the hell, the volley gun forward, mm -hmm. and his griffins come forward. One of his griffins come forward, occupies the wall. He's kept his general off all the way to the right. Yeah. Um, and three of his griffins over here mm -hmm. with his master in the back, mm -hmm. um, but not keeping them together to extend his ranges. Yeah. Which I was kind of surprised at. Mm -hmm. And there's one griffin floating around back here. Yeah, he's got him. Who I did the Master of Stone on and managed to get a wound on him. Okay. So, got that going. Mm -hmm. um, and this is where his move did. This is coming up to my turn, I believe. Okay. Um, so, it's my turn. Um, the unit, he's checking his arc, I think, over there on the far right. Looks like it. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I charged his his riders and their they fled into mm -hmm. the woods okay um let's do a redirect and then now it's okay so 
sorry, it was back to his turn. So his griffin here behind the wall mm -hmm. declared a charge on the um, brigands. The brigands fled. He couldn't catch me and just wanders out here. Mm -hmm. He's where the base is. Right, I understand. Um, he's just saying out there. Yeah, he this unit doesn't want to leave guys. the wall. Okay. So it's just going to sit back there. Um, his other griffins move around. There we go. You can see now he's moved up with mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Again, his <laughs> volley gun is still advancing because it's still outside of 24. Yep. The idea, I'm going to keep that out of range as long as I can. Yeah. Um, my idea was to keep plugging away with it with the brigands, but unfortunately he's pushed them off. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he's floating out here. Um, I did move a character. My actual general moved over here into this unit of... Uh, of uh, aspirants oh, okay. just to threaten things on this side of the board. Right. Um, the top left, you can see the top right, things have cleared out. His mm -hmm. general his general keeps backing up. His metal mage and shooting have really put a... He's shooting the mortar over here on this unit on the right, the white unit of, uh, of questing knights, mm -hmm. and just doing a wound into a turn. I'm failing armor saves. Yeah. I mean, it's AP1, well, so... Well, it's a lot of guys if it hits. Yeah, he's hitting eight, all eight of them every mm -hmm. time, yeah. even if it hits on the second shot. Mm -hmm. So just kind of chipping away at me over there is just really irritating. Must be nice to hit with a mortar. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice when it happens. Yeah. Over here on the top right, you can see the riders have uh, rallied and come back forward again to mess with the Grail Knights. Mm -hmm. And there we go. That's what we have. So going into my turn, this is what it looks like. We charge with, let's back up. Okay, think of who did this. We charge all the Griffins. <laughs> the red, the unit of red um, questing, knights. questing Knights here charge the Griffin over here on the, and that's outside the wall. Okay, the one, so you have to go through the. Uh... Well, I'm, it turns out, I think, it turned out I was in his flank. Oh, you were? Okay. So I'm in his flank, so oh, I can okay. go far forward yep, 90 yep. and hit him. in his flank, it's a no-brainer. Okay. And then overrun to the right yeah, and yeah. smash into another griffin. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so based on that, he didn't like that idea. Yep. So he fled, mm -hmm. um, and he fled from here through this back here, which okay. panicked the wagon, mm -hmm. and he ended up there. So the okay. wagon panics and fled. Okay. Luck, luckily for him, didn't go far enough to hit the war machine. The war yeah. machine, because all this stuff's leadership seven. Yeah, yeah. Um, so panics are bad for him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you're looking for your. Uh... He also played a card on this unit that gives him an extra three hundred points if he kills this unit. Okay, what was yours? Um, I can't remember what mine okay. was on this game. He would have loved to have the terror one. The terror <laughs> one would have been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I've already burned it though, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so he's, he was trying to push hard on this unit. So anyway, yeah. this unit backs up a bit, mm -hmm. gets in position to deal with these knights trying to come around the corner. Mm -hmm. And you can see his unit's just coming up slowly in the center. I'm still thrilled with this whole thing. My aspirants made a long charge into his, um, what are these guys? Sun knights. Whatever. Knights of the Sun Griffin. Yeah. So they go forward a long way there. On the, dem on the demigriffs. Yeah. Demigriffs. The old demigriffs. Mm -hmm. um, my other character leaves the unit and comes hangs out here by himself. Young griffs, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Comes hangs out here by himself mm -hmm. behind the hill so the general can't charge him. Yep. And that's going to about do it. Mm -hmm. So we charge in here. We did two wounds. He did two back to me up here on the uh, aspirant's charge. Okay. Uh, so it's a push. Well, I have a charge. He's got a banner. So, okay. yeah, it's a straight push, that one. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to stick around. At least for a turn. At least for a turn. And then it comes up to his turn. Um, over on the right, I had chased his riders off again. Okay. And There's gosh, only one left. I must have I fought him and must have only killed one or two or whatever there were. How many were there? The four? Four units, yeah. There was four. So, I killed, I killed three... Maybe we lost somebody and I think I chased them and couldn't get catch them. Okay. I think and it was the Grail Knights that did it too, mm. which is disappointing. <laughs> um, so now it's back to his turn. Mm -hmm. That's how mine ended. Back to his turn. So the <laughs> the Griffin did not rally. Right, flew off. 
went through the cannon, did run, not run, panic the cannon, run off, but went runned off. Yeah, um, you can see him back here yep. hanging out. Um, the uh, wagon did rally, on the other hand, mm -hmm. and these two, the Cosmo and the Divination Griffins, come over to the right, mm -hmm. the left, my left, his right. Um, elsewhere, he comes up and occupies the wall. Mm -hmm. which is a weird thing because you have to be on the wall apparently and it, this counts as being on the wall it's just weird I have to ask about it's so weird we, I didn't care because I wasn't charging him anyway mm -hmm. <laughs> and the volley gun this turn did not move and gets to take a couple shots the uh, knights down here come forward right there where they've got my that arc is on the knight's aspirant mm-hmm and because they're five wide, by the time they wheel past the uh, these knights, I'm going to miss this dragon. I mean, the, the divination master on okay. the griffin. Because I have to wheel past those knights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, or you just charge the knights. Or I can charge the knights, but I'm probably not going to beat the knights. I'm only strength five. And he's armor one. Yeah. So that's not great. You get, um, you get your generals in there, isn't he? No, he left. Oh, okay. He doesn't hang out with aspirants for very long. Oh, okay. He's back there in the center right there. Oh, okay. Um, he's irritated that he couldn't break these guys on my charge. Mm -hmm. So his griffin comes over and pounds him in the <laughs> flank. Okay. Decides he's going to get rid of them for sure. Mm -hmm. Not leaving it up to the Knights of the Sun griffin. And then he takes his, help, his volley gun, which only has one target, which is the Knights aspirant, and kills three of them. Okay. Forgetting what that does for over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because now I can wheel past them. Mm -hmm. um, but that's your score unit, right? But that's my scoring unit I don't want yeah. to lose. Well, it's the unit that he gets a bonus for. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, this fight up top with the Knights of the Sun Griffin and his, and his other baby Griffin gets extreme. I make every save. Oh, okay. And he does absolutely no wounds to me. Yeah, it's quite surprising. Um, and so I do absolutely no wounds. He does no wounds to me. I think I did one to him. Did you reform first or did he reform first the last turn? He, did, he didn't bring his other guy around, I'm noticing. Well, he couldn't last turn. He was going to bring this guy in the back last turn, but okay. this unit of militia was back here. Oh, I see. And okay. it would have, the footprint would have messed it up. Okay. He couldn't do it. Yeah. Um, but because he did consider that. Okay. Um, so anyway. So he does that. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. um, there you go. I just took a picture. Just he did absolutely no wounds to me. Yeah. Um, actually, one. sorry, he did do one wound. <laughs> uh, my mistake. He did do a single wound to me, but I made my save. I made my check and stuck around, which is just ridiculous. Um, it's back to my turn. The blue knights are going to charge over here. Um, I think they're char they're charging this unit of militia. Needing a 16 to get there. Mm -hmm. My idea is I go smack them, turn around, and right. get back into the fight. Um, the Grail Knights declare a charge on the fleeing rider and then redirect into the mortar over on the right. I'm not sure what if I have pictures to support that. Oh, and mm -hmm. then after his combat, that's the way he elected to reform mm -hmm. because his idea was that no matter what, this unit of White Knights is going to hit the, right. that great griffin. This way, there's at least some chance they don't make the overrun. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's pretty much automatic. Mm -hmm. um, so he tries that. Um, and then the, the... So... I elected not to charge him with the White Knight. Well, sorry, the White Knights and the... Because of the way he did it, the White Knights and the Red Knights charged into the Great Griffin that was there in that fight mm -hmm. and smashed it the Red Knights, right there, the Red Knights overran. There's a better picture. So he was sticking out all the way out to like here, right. remember? So the, both these units could see him and they both charged him, mm -hmm. allowing the White Knights to just re reform out of arc of this unit I see. and the Red Knights to continue over and smash this as long as I lost this one guy. Mm -hmm. If I didn't lose this one guy, then I would have had to overrun right, with right. the White Knights and get into that unit. Yeah, but but either that, way, I was protected. But you did that fight first, so... Correct. Yeah. And this also gave me two units within six of this again, so I'm scoring this mm -hmm. again for, a, I think, the second time. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> so we have that. 
And there's the fight there. Let's go back there. Where had that? There we go. Smash. So they've gone forward, smashed him again. Mm -hmm. You can see the rider has fled from up top. Yep. Didn't go off the board. The Grail Knights have gone into the mortar over on the far right to kill mm -hmm. it. Right. Um, General's unit comes out here into the center. The General and BSB are both in this unit now. Mm -hmm. um, no, I'm sorry. The General's all the way up here. Okay. BSB's up in this unit. Just daring this unit to come forward. Hard to tell with all these blurry photos, man. It's, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the... um, his these knights, <laughs> my two aspirants that charged around mm -hmm. into his divination master. Oh, he did. They did go in. They did go in, and they did make it. Mm -hmm. It was an easy charge. They did make it. They got no wounds on it. Mm -hmm. He failed to wound me. Mm -hmm. I won by the charge. He fled. And I ran him down oh, and killed okay. him. Wow, okay. And because he broke, the five knights that were there protecting him fled, panicked. <laughs> panicked and fled out here into and the, lost two into in the, the ruins. Okay. So, yeah, it was just, you know. Yeah. Leadership seven, no BSB is not Can good. Can be a very bad thing, yep. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's where they ended up. And uh, and like I said, it was a, it's a four, it was a four-turn game. Okay. Which... You know, four turns because you ran out of time, or four, four turns because we ran out of time. Okay, because we had no, uh, yeah, we ran out of time in this one. Mm -hmm. The final combat we did because they actually called time. There was when he said fifteen minutes left. We mm -hmm. had just finished turn three, mm -hmm. and that's why a lot of these pictures are blurry and missing because we were just. I was pushing him hard to get through turn four. I would think you had a lot of time to take your photo. What's that? So I would think you had a lot of time to take your photos. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, so the end result, mm -hmm. of course, is these guys, the red unit that's up here, smashed through the knights of those. Okay. Unfortunately for me, which wouldn't have mattered because we didn't have the next turn anyway, but on turn four, they crushed those, mm -hmm. and I was tempted to restrain right. so I could face that griffin, but they failed, and they chased them into the, you know. Yep. They didn't kill them all, so they had to... Yeah. They, they end up catching them and killing them and running into there and getting out of arc if we would have had a turn five. Mm -hmm. um, didn't really matter. The um, the top of turn four, this unit of knight, uh, the unit behind the wall, mm -hmm. declared a charge at the white knights. Mm -hmm. um, they fled, and then he redirected into this other unit here with my BSB, who also fled. Oh, okay. Which gave him the marker for, the, for turn four. Mm-hmm. But I already had two tokens. He had one. Right. So I went. I'm going to win it. Mm -hmm. In the bottom of turn four, both my units rally. And he's left, you know, mm -hmm. stuck there in the middle. I think on the bottom, I think he ended up charging he ended up charging and killing this unit of Grail Knights down mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. But okay. not, a, not a big deal mm -hmm. on turn f bottom of turn four. But again, only four turn games. Four turn games are disappointing yeah. to me. Yeah. Um, I I love to finish all six turns. I'm, I'm upset when I play five. Right. <laughs> but anyway, so four turns. But because of that, I mean, as it was, he did almost no damage to me. So you had and I killed quite a bit of his. Okay. So you had an eleven seven of uh, thirteen. I had a thirteen seven, seven and, and then, you then the objective. The objective made it a sixteen four. Which wraps the tournament up seven above average for okay. me. Okay, three so wins, two losses, seven total of fifty-seven. Average. Okay, where'd that put you? You know, uh, actually, I finished sixth in this tournament. Oh, okay, which is not terrible. Yep, considering the second game. Without the second game, I'm placing much better. Still nowhere near the top because the top scores were really big in this one. So. Not right, bad. Right. Okay, um, but yeah, overall, nice, uh, nice tournament. Again, I there's no. I don't think I did anything wrong with this one except not get enough turns in. Yeah, yeah. Is what's the only the thing that I think was my biggest problem in this game. Um, even had this guy lost, when the Griffin charged in my flank, I should have lost in this night's aspirant yeah, fight. Yeah, I should have, yeah. But it doesn't really change anything. Right. The only thing is that that guy, if he overruns, is over here on the hill where the blue unit that's sitting over there to the right can charge him off. Yeah, yeah. Um, and charge him first, and if he runs through this guy, might panic them. Right. And if he doesn't panic them, the white unit still charges into him and mm -hmm. smashes them. Or, I don't know if they smash them, but they go into him. 
Yeah. Anyway, so I would have liked, like I said, again, another turn would have been fantastic. Two turns would have been even better, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it's what it is. Um, but anyway, so yeah, finished up on a good note. Yeah. Okay. Enjoyed myself. Had a good tournament. Uh, thanks to everybody I played. Even the guy with the unpainted army. You were a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's going to do it. Okay. Thanks for listening. Till next time. Thank you.